Hello, I'm Miss Linnea Lark, and this is Illustrate Away, a community of artists dedicated to encouragement and growth. Let's start with a reminder of our drawing rules. Number one, always draw the shape before the detail. Number two, draw with your eyes and not with your brain. Number three, erase to fix, not to restart. And number four, failure leads to growth. Okay, so I'm pretty excited because I have no idea for our channel. So I, I've told you guys that I'm an auntie and I have a little nephew whose name is Weston and he is nine years old, almost 10, almost a double digit. And then I have a little coral, uh, Rose, and she is six years old. And so I have a nephew and a niece and they both kind of, uh, they, they knew that I was making YouTube videos, but it, I think just this last week, um, my nephew really kind of got into it and, and sort of watching it and then shared it with the rest of the family. And so we've been kind of brainstorming ideas for drawing and, and what I should draw. And I asked him if he had any kind of a request for flora and fauna this week. And his first idea was a heffalump, which I was totally down with. And, but then he was like, no, do fluffy and then I was like fluffy who he's like the three-headed dog from Harry Potter I'm like obviously that fluffy and from there he decided that I should totally do a whole week of Harry Potter so every day this week they'll be um, related to Harry Potter in some way which I'm totally pumped about so I'm really excited to be sharing this with my nephew and with my niece I cannot tell you as an aunt how exciting it is to share the most beloved stories with your nephew and niece. It is amazing, like crazy amazing. The Hobbit, Harry Potter, superheroes, Star Wars, like it's so exciting to share stories and the movies that you grew up with and that you really love. And so a few years ago, I went to London and I was able to go to platform nine and three quarters in real life. And I got my nephew Harry Potter's wand and I got my niece Hermione's wand. And I just, well, like I waited in line just to get into the shop. Like if they have a line to even let you into the shop, that's how many people are trying to get in there. And, uh, you know, we waited and we waited and we waited and I, my train was almost gone and I was trying to get back to Paris. And I finally got, you know, the wand that I knew I wanted, like the nice ones, and spent a small fortune on those. And then I checked out and I left. And as I was leaving the store, I was thinking, why in the world didn't I get myself a Voldemort wand? That would be the perfect teaching tool. <laughs> but I used a sword that I bought in Disneyland. My nephew and I, the previous year, had bought lightsabers. This year, this last time we went, um, last year for his birthday, and we were in, I think, Sleeping Beauty's castle. And it's all girl stuff in there. They've, that's where they do kind of the girl dress up area. And so my niece loves it. But they had like one Prince Charming sword. And so my nephew, that's what he really wanted. So I bought him one. And as I was about to check out, he looks at me and he's like, Nene, you have to get one too. That's what he calls me, Nene. So anyway, so we sword fought our way through Disneyland that day. But um, anyway, that sword is like super cool, but it's reflective. And so the light from the PowerPoint projector kind of blinds the kids. So I've been in the market for some time to replace that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed Fluffy, the three-headed dog. And uh, this has been Bits and Bobs. Please remember to upload your pictures on Facebook. I'd like to start sharing some of the pictures um, from Schoology and, and Facebook on future videos. As always, please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss a daily video. Stupefy! Avada Kedavra!